If you're wondering, yes, I do dress in black or white like 75% of the time. Sorry, not sorry. I promise I'll like bring out another kind of shirt for another video, but for now you just get the black and white. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Monica and welcome back to my channel, Money Reads, where I talk about books and things. And today I have what is for me a very exciting announcement, but it's not going to be an exciting announcement for you, I don't think. And that is that I am officially going on a book buying ban. And I know what you're thinking, Monica, why are you making a video about a book buying ban? And it's honestly because I feel like there is an expectation as a booktuber and especially as a booktuber that wants to grow because let's be honest we all want to grow our channel sorry my hair is driving me crazy but we all want to grow our channels and let me tell you my book hauls the bigger they are the bigger the viewership is and the idea that i'm not gonna have that kind of makes me a little bit nervous but you know what if you're only here for book hauls, then you're not here for the bookish content. And I know that book hauls introduce us to new books, but if I keep buying books, I'm just not going to be able to read them. So that brings me to my first point as to why I'm doing this book buying ban. And it's I'm looking over there because over there is my TBR shelf. It's going to take me months upon months, if not more than a year, to get through both my physical TBR and my Kindle TBR. It's ridiculous. It's crazy. It's not normal. And that's not even considering that I want to sometimes reread books. Like, I have more than enough books. And that is something that I kind of want to get through, through everyone in my channel. And that is that you don't need more books. You might want more books, but there's a big difference between the verb need and the verb want. I want more books. I don't need more books. And even if I do feel like I need a book. So now comes my little second little amendment to this book buying band business. And that is that I'm still keeping script and I'm still keeping audible. So even though I am not buying any more books, either physical or ebook, I am still able to access books that I wouldn't otherwise be able to access because I have those apps. So if you add all of the books on script, all the books that I can get through my Audible, which I mean, I know you only get one credit and stuff like that, but you know, still, that's like thousands of books. That, oh, and we're not even going into the fact that my library still exists. Except that, you know, I can't go right now, but generally it exists. My cat. Penny! Penny! Thank you. So, what, why? Why do I keep buying books? I know for some people it's like, yeah, but books make me happy. Well, good. But here's the thing. Buying books has become an addiction for me. And I, I don't mean an addiction like I, I need to go to rehab, but I kind of like need to stop. It's gotten to the point where I tried, I remember, it, I'll link up here, the TBR takedown project where for every five books I read, I buy one and I couldn't do it. I just kept buying and buying and buying and I realized that my buying actually is out of control. It feels like when I was buying clothes that I didn't need and I don't like that for me. I don't like that for my life and I don't want the urge of buying to control me and that brings me to point number three for okay this is uh, okay let, let's come here baby we're gonna get a little bit intense by the way i burned my butt with my uh straightener don't ask me how it, i put it down on the bed then i sat down it's it was a very strange thing so now my my butt is like literally in pain and i'm not wearing any pants tmi like always <laughs> But like I'm on the floor and it's just not it's not a good look baby, but okay When I was 23 Okay, oh, let's start this off. Okay, so oh, I don't know. I don't even know how to start um, Recently I Posted on Twitter. I, I, I even had a GoFundMe. I decided to do this blah 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 and I was um, basically asking for help 
for uh, breast reduction surgery. Um, but uh, the truth is I wasn't being very honest about that and um, it's not that I was going to spend the money on something else. It is going to be a breast reduction. But here's the thing. When I was 23, when I was 22, I had a thyroid problem. And that thyroid problem turned into me gaining uh, about double my body weight. So I gained um, about almost 100 pounds in six months. Which was horrible because it was a medical condition. Um, when the thyroid problem was solved, I lost, uh, I would not say the same amount, I lost about, if I gained 100, I lost about 70, then I had those like 30-ish extra pounds, which I don't mind um, there, but I allowed somebody to convince me that the way my body looked was disgusting. So I wanted to get breast reconstruction surgery and the doctor um, told me that the scarring I would have would be horrible and disgusting for a 23 year old so I let them convince me along with the other people in my life that were telling me that my body was disgusting to instead uh, just do a small lift and then fill out the area that was left like if I was I don't know I blow up doll uh, with a breast implant. Now, um, I have nothing against breast implants. I have nothing against people that want to get breast implants, except that I didn't want to get breast implants. But I allowed myself to be convinced to do it, instead of going for the full-on reduction. What ended up happening, of course, is now my breasts are way too big. They are painful. They, uh... I don't know if you noticed that in my videos I'm always like hunched and that's not because I want to look skinnier it's because I am always hunched because my breasts ache and I like go down so that um, they don't hurt so much so yes I do need a reduction but I also need to have those implants taken out so that I can have a proper reduction done and I realized that I've been wanting this for almost 10 years. And I, first of all, because of fear, keep pushing it off. Second of all, I, if I count how many books I've bought in the last year, I could pay for half the surgery. And that made me sad because, because I really want to live a better life. I really want to stop being in pain because I'm in pain constantly because of, of, of this that I did to myself. I don't blame anyone else. The doctor was wrong and the people that telling me that my body was disgusting was, was wrong, uh, were wrong, but I did it to myself and I'm fine with that and I have come to terms with that and now I have to pay for the removal of the implants and possibly I don't know if I'm gonna get a lift or not, if I'm gonna get like a, a full-on reduction, I don't know, but but I don't wanna go into debt to do that. Um, I have no debt except my car, and we're uh, halfway through paying that off, and I just don't wanna go into debt for that. So not only am I going on a book buying ban, but I'm going in a no buy. I am not buying anything for at least one year. Of course, I'm buying food. Everybody always thinks that I'm like, oh, so you're not buying food? Yeah, I'm gonna starve for a year. No, I'm buying food. I'm buying like the essential stuff. But books, I have books. I have over 100 books to read. And if I've spent every day of my life reading those books, some of them will take me one day, some of them will take me three days, but let's just pretend each book takes me two days. That's like almost a year. I don't need any more books and, and, and I still have the audiobooks and everything. I don't need any more books, at least not for now. And when I do need books, I will find a way of getting them that is free. This will not also help me achieve my goals of 
plastic surgery, I guess, you know, elective surgery, but also it will help me deal with my boredom buying. It will help me be a more conscious buyer, I hope, when this is all over. And it will help me, I don't know, it will help me realize that I don't need to shop in order to be happy. And that my channel can grow without the use of book hauls. Because trust me, I know, I know that book hauls get you a lot of thrust in this community. Is that, is that allowed? Can I say that? Thrust? But anyway, yeah, I'm going on a book buying ban. I'm going on a, on a shopping ban in general. And if you want to join me on this beautiful process, or at least part of it, like I know some people do like, like what I was trying to do, I'll, I'll only buy one book if I want to read it right away, or I'll buy one book if I read three books, etc, etc, etc. Please leave me a comment down below, let me know I'm not alone. Um, I'm being very vulnerable in this video. I filmed it twice. This is like the only time that I have filmed a video more than once because I just, I'm very ashamed of myself and not because of the book buying I'm not ashamed of because of the book buying that is eh, whatever you know it's 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 just something I'm ashamed to admit that I've had a cosmetic procedure done and I'm ashamed to admit that I was that girl that thought she would never get somebody unless her breasts were nice and perky and full and I'm ashamed that I let people talk me into that and I'm ashamed to admit it online. But I feel that that's part of the process of healing and um, getting the implants taken out is going to mean that I'm not going to look as young as I do now. And I have two options, I either get a lift and a, and a reduction or I just take the implants out and the difference between those two things is enormous in money and again I find myself having to make a choice where do I fall for the I want to look a certain way or do I want to feel a certain way and again this is nothing against people that get breast implants or that, you know, want to look a certain way. It's just, what do I want? And maybe this no by year will help me figure it out. But anyway, that's basically the book buying ban announcement video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope that you're not too quick to judge me. And I hope that you'll stick around whether I buy books or not. And well, without further ado, I bid you adieu, and I will see you in another galaxy far, far away. Bye, guys.